Hello, my little buds. Hello, my little buds. My name is Sativa Sequoia. A S M R. And uh, thank you for clicking on this video. Did you do it because of my mustache? Isn't she glorious? This is me in my full, like, drag king mode. Um, because if you don't draw on a mustache, are you even a drag king? I just put mascara in so it looks more prominent. Uh, I think it looks sexy, honestly. It feels very uncomfortable. <laughs> it feels very uncomfortable. But that's drag, girl. We do it for the look, not for the feel. That electric feel. I do have um, some triggers for you today. Uh, the first trigger I'm gonna do is this comb. I love comb sounds. It's so plasticky. So plasticky. And the side of the comb, the thick side of the comb, has a very different sound from the thin side of the comb. Which one do you like better, the thick side or the thin side? Honestly, I feel like they both have their good traits and bad traits. Work, though. I love me some comb sounds. I wish my nails were a little bit longer to do this better for you, but just cut them. Sorry. I'm masked now, so I can't have long nails. I'm masked, so I can't have long nails. What would I use long nails for? Absolutely nothing. I have no need for glamour. I'm a man. You know what I do with my nails? I cut them so I can finger pussy. A finger pussy. I can't, I can't even... <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, gosh. Imagine if I was straight. How weird would this shit be? I was straight though. What if this is all just an act? <laughs> I've been sucking cock for years so I could like trick people into thinking I'm gay. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Really got you there. I love scratchy, scritchy, scratchy plastic sounds. It really just does it for me. Let's try it on the mic. I like it better with my fingers. Is that doing something for you? I keep forgetting my camera is right here. Because like, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, so forgive me if I'm not making eye contact 100% of the time. I'm going to try and be better about that, but it's so hard when my monitor is right here. Tonight, I am drinking um, a lovely vodka lemonade. Actually, I whoops, sorry about that, y'all. I ran out of space. <laughs> I ran out of space. It's so, anyway, what I was saying is, it's actually, I think, a vodka grapefruit limeade, because I'm drinking this Owens Craft Mixers. It's what they had at the ABC. I made with real juice, pure cane sugar, pairs with tequila, vodka, and champagne, just like me. Oh, that's kind of nice. I really like that, actually. I love me some good scratching sounds. for that? Do we care for that trigger? That I 
I like it when other people do it. I'm not sure if I like it when I do it. Oh, by the way, we've moved on from the comb to the hairbrush. To the hairbrush. I'm sorry, she's a little bit dusty. You might be able to see that. I like this one because it has very wide spaced bristles and they're kind of springy bristles so it's good for wigs it's good for wigs which of course i would know nothing about because i own no wigs i never wear wigs this is my real hair what are you talking about guys you guys i'm so sorry I just keep running out of space on my iPad. It's like, I feel like you have to delete things multiple times for it to actually take sometimes. I don't really understand how that works. It's like you gotta delete them and then be like, yeah, but are you sure you're deleting them? Which I guess is nice, but in terms of me being immediately able to free up storage space on my device, it's kind of a pain in my ass. Anyway. We're back. I switched combs because I kind of like this one better. What if? Oh. Yeah. That's a good shit. Mm. tune for you. I mean, a box, a metal box that I can use to make music. Let me show you. Hold on. Can I show you? <gasps> there she is, right there. That's my new box. Do you want to know what it does? Well, I'm going to tell you whether you want to know or not, girl. Uh, it's an auto-tune box. So it, um, it not only does auto-tune, it's a compressor, it's a mic modeler, it's a de -esser. Is that all? It has an EQ as well. Um, and it has fucking auto-tune on it. And I love auto-tune. I love autotune. I don't need it because I'm a good singer, but I love autotune. Excuse me. It's really very good. It's a lovely effect. And I needed a compressor, basically. I needed a compressor. And this one has um, a compressor, an EQ, a lovely mic modeling thing, a deesser, as well as autotune. And it was like, I want to say like 300 bucks. But if you look at all that it does, I mean, that's as much as you would pay for a copy of Autotune or a compressor or a de -esser. And this does like all of those things. So it was kind of a no brainer for me. I also got a pretty good deal on it because usually the list price is like 600 bucks. I got this one used as I do get most of my equipment used. Um, you know, maybe I like the smaller side better. I think I might. But anyway, I've been testing it, and it sounds lovely. I haven't recorded anything with it yet, but um, that's going to happen soon, girl, because I've got my vocal chain down. Only problem is now I'm out of patch cables. <laughs> got too much equipment, not enough patch cables, so my patch cables are still in the mail. They're still in the mail. They're still in the mail. So we got to wait have um actually a couple more pieces of equipment in the mail let me check my ebay my ebay let me check my ebay so i can tell you exactly what i'm waiting on okay so i'm waiting on my cables i just got my auto tune oh right i'm waiting on my power supply it's a rack mount power supply to go in that box down there 
I'm waiting on a rack mount power supply, as well as my rack mount audio interface. It has MIDI as well as 16 individually streamable outs, and that's a major upgrade, girl. That's a major upgrade, girl. So, waiting on that, and I'm waiting on my Yamaha EM90A. My Yamaha EM90A. And of course, you know what that is, right? <laughs> No, you don't. It's an extremely obscure Yamaha product. It's a um an analog mixing board with a spring reverb and a drum machine. And I spent too much money on it, girl. I spent too much money on it, but I still think I got a deal on it. So I think I can sell it on for a few hundred dollars profit in a bit. Um, it's a lovely board. I'm going to use it to process drum machines drum machines i'm going to use it to process drum machines and maybe vocals we'll see um we're gonna find out aren't we it looks like a lovely bit of kit a lovely bit of kit oh and i'm waiting on another drum machine <laughs> listen i spent like oh i spent my paycheck several times over in the past month on audio equipment. I'm kind of living a $10 in and $15 out kind of lifestyle right now. But that's okay, because it's not something I'm going to keep up. I'm done buying equipment for right now. I don't need anything else. I mean, now that I've got this rack mount thing going on, that's like a major studio upgrade. Um, and you know, a couple drum machines here and there. That's just what life's about, isn't it? A couple drum machines here and there. Lovely. So yeah, anyway, I think I look daddy as fuck with the darker mustache and little beard. It's just mascara, but like on stage, you could never tell. You'd just be like, oh, is he in an Eagles cover band? Someone just asked me, do you like it rough? Do you like it rough? I'm going to reply to this question. Do you like it rough? No. No, I don't like it rough. Oh, it didn't, it didn't take it. Hold on one more time. No. No, I don't like it rough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I did. Like, rough sex seems like it would be fun, but every time I've tried it, I've just really not enjoyed it. Um, last time I had rough sex, I ended up bleeding for months afterwards. Um, also, one of the reasons why I don't bottom very often is I had some really unpleasant rough sex. Which I consented to, you know, I, I did that, um, it was bad, it was quite possibly the worst sex I've ever had, because sex has never left me injured afterwards. This is probably TMI for an ASMR video, but girl, we let it all hang out on this channel. I had a, um, an anal fissure, which is basically a tear in your asshole. Uh, it's fine now. It's fine now. Not the worst genital-related injury I've ever had, actually. I had a testicular torsion once, which, God, worst pain I've ever been in, ever. It wasn't from rough sex. It was literally like, it's a congenital thing. It runs in my family. Uh, lots of guys in my family get this, where it's like the cord that connects your ball to your body. Just is like, nope, we're out of here. And it's extraordinarily painful oh someone just texted me i'm working on some tracks right now with a friend so i don't think i'll have time but maybe later okay that's cool always staying busy girl what was i talking about oh yeah <laughs> anal fissures and uh testicular torsions i've had both 
can't recommend the experience to anybody. Um, really, two of the most unpleasant things I've ever had to deal with. You know what else was unpleasant? Crabs. Had crabs once. Disgusting. 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 I got it in 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 the Cornell dorms. That's where I got crabs, girl, in the Cornell dorms. Do I regret it? The sex was good. The aftermath, not so much. This boy keeps asking me questions on Grinder, and I'm like, you don't need to ask me questions. Just show up and let me suck your dick. It's really very simple. It's transactional, even. It doesn't have to be transactional. We can talk afterwards. You know, we can be friends. But really, I'm here to suck your dick. You know, like, it's not that complex, girl. It's really not that complex, girl. Some people are anxious, though. They want to have all their questions answered beforehand, and I get that. I'm here for your comfort, you know? I really would like to get some dick though, because it's been a few days. <laughs> a few days? It's been more than a few days. When was the last time I got dick? Must have been a couple weeks ago. He had a really nice cock though. Um, and I hit him up on Grinder again and he didn't respond to me. I hit him up twice even. He didn't respond to me. So it's like, oh, okay, so I'm good enough to suck your dick, but not good enough to get a text back. Cool. Let's see how that works. Hey, at least I sucked his dick, you know. This other guy has been hitting me up, and I'm like not sure how into him I am. He's cute. You know. Daddy has duties, you know. Just gotta make the boys come. That's what we're here for. I do take my duties very seriously. I take them very seriously. I think maybe that's why I make a good ASM artist. At least I think I make a good ASM artist because I'm like very... I'm very service oriented, if you know what I'm saying. You know, I just like making people feel things. And if I can do that with a comb, fantastic. If I can do that with my music, fantastic. If I can do that with the back of my throat, fantastic. Listen, I don't know who this is for. I'm just hoping to get gay subscribers, you know, because I don't do this for straight people, right? Like, I don't do anything <laughs> for straight people, okay? Except my day job, right? Like, that is for the straights. Everything else in my life is not for the straight people, okay? Now, mind you, if I was making money at this, I would make heterosexual ASMR. I'd make, like, boyfriend role plays with female pronouns. Yeah, I'll be your internet boyfriend, girl. Girl, I'll be your... Hold on, let me put on my straight voice. Girl, I'll be your internet boyfriend. That's so bad. <laughs> I can't even do it. Hold on, wait. Girl, I'll be your internet boyfriend. Yeah, you like that, uh, boyfriend roleplay ASMR. You like that ear-licking ASMR. I hate those. I hate those so much. Uh, there's a lot of ASMR that I find to be cringe. There's a lot of ASMR that I find to be cringe, but none more than ear-licking ASMR. <laughs> Disgusting. I will say the boyfriend roleplays are pretty cringe, too. Not to say I haven't watched some in moments of desperation. Listen, girl, I've been extremely single at times in my life. Or just pissed off at my current boyfriend, so I wanted an internet boyfriend to, to whisper me to sleep. 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 Oh, I got another message. You looking? <laughs> You looking, bro? Let's see what his profile is. Oh, that's so nice. Look at this picture. 
Not his face, is it? Let's see. He says he's 5'11", slim, a cis man. Pronouns are he, him, his. Position, versatile. Relationship status, single, looking for. Right now. Well, let's talk back to him then. Oh, so he said... Apparently I hit him up. I said, hey, yeah. He must have had a different profile picture or something. Because I never hit up blank profiles. Except when I do. Because I enjoy the mystery. You never know. He says, looking for someone to smoke with. Question mark. Hey, man. Period. I do enjoy smoking with other guys. Haha. -ha. We're keeping it casual. I'm not really looking right now. Honestly, I'm tired and I've been drinking. But maybe another time, dude, period. Do you have a face pic? Question mark. I'm just giving you an insight into my life, girl. Always on Grinder. Not always, but like... It's just so convenient. It's much more convenient than Tinder. My last hookup was actually from Tinder, which is really rare for me. It just happened, you know. It was a fine hookup. I don't think it's gonna be anything more than that. Excuse me. It was a fine hookup. I sucked his dick. It was yummy. It was yummy. Oh my god, he sent me a Facebook and he's cute. I'm not going to show you because that's the violation of privacy, girl. But he sent me a Facebook and he's cute. Aw, hey, you're cute, dude. I would definitely smoke with you, smiley face. Hell yeah. Well, someone just reacted to my Instagram story. I posted this look. My drag king look. I honestly love me with the dark hair, facial hair and the dark hair though. It's just like, I feel like I look, cause it matches my eyebrows. Cause my eyebrows are naturally like a very dark brown or black. And I feel like it just matches them a little bit better. <laughs> He said he liked my drag king name. I said my drag king name is either Peen Ogrigio or Jack Decox. <laughs> They're both good. Oh, I also said Ron Bear With Me. Like Ron Jeremy, Ron Bear With Me. I don't think that one's quite as good. Oh my gosh, these cute boys are hitting me up. I love it. This is what happens when you're daddy. Like, I didn't expect to become daddy, right? Like, I was a twink. I was a twink. I was a twink. Once upon a time. And then slowly the dadification emerged. And now I'm like, <laughs> I'm about it. I'm honestly about it. And clearly the boys are about it, too, because uh, they're hitting me up. They're hitting me up, and I love it. I just love male attention, you know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with female attention. I get that all the time, girl. Women love me. Like, I realize I'm six foot three and cute. You know, women love me. Men love me less of the time, probably because of the drag. But men love me too, so. That's really what I'm going for, is the male attention. Because women are great. Couldn't eat a whole one, girl. Couldn't eat a whole one, girl. Women are great, but I'm not sexually interested in women. You know, it's just not, not my gig, girl. Tried it, didn't like it. So I'm not a gold star gay, even though I hate that term. I'm not a gold star gay. Because I tried it, and I didn't like it. 
you know, sometimes you just gotta try things. Sometimes you just gotta try things. Like, pussy. Pussy, not a fan. Like, just not my gig, girl. Um, I'm very grateful that pussy is in the world because pussy does make the world go round. And I understand that a lot of men are really into pussy and I can be like, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. It's just not what gets me off. I don't like ass either. I'm just into cock. Like, that's just what I'm into. I'm sorry if this is like TMI for you. You can always click off the video, but I'm sure some people enjoy this little slice of life into my homosexual lifestyle. Speaking of my homosexual lifestyle, girl, I need to get vaccinated for fucking monkeypox, and I'm so salty about it. Like, I can't be both a gay slut and unvaccinated, girl. Can't have that. I'm vaccinated for, um, the Rona. Did that. Got that jab. My 5G has never been better. My reception is so good. I just get great 5G reception wherever I go. <laughs> Wake up, sheeple! It's the 5G! And the chemtrails! The chemtrails, the chemtrails, the chemtrails, the chemtrails, the chemtrails! Are they seeding clouds with chemicals to make the frogs gay? Sure worked on me. Ribbit, ribbit. Okay, this has probably been long enough of me just like... word vomiting about my sex life but honestly i know some of you guys some of you guys and gals really enjoy that because i'm i'm a cute little faggot you know it is what it is scratchity scratch have a beautiful night everybody my name is sativa sequoia i have been your asm artist for this evening um leave me a comment is there a mustache emoji let's look it up <laughs> Mustache emoji. Okay, well, there's that one. Is there just a mustache emoji? No, there's like an emoji with a mustache. That's fine. It wasn't really what I was looking for, but it's okay. Anyway, um, maybe leave me a mustache emoji, a, must a mustache emoji down in the comments, or a bee emoji, cause they're so cute. Bees are so cute. Bees are so cute. They're fuzzy and adorable, just like me. Anyway, that's all I have for you this evening, this afternoon, this morning, whenever you're watching this video, girl. Hope you've enjoyed it. My name's Sativa Sequoia ASMR, and this is all you're getting for today. Goodbye.